Friday. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Daily Do. One day of Stardew Valley every day for the rest of our lives. Or until Haunted Chocolate 2 comes out. I'll probably switch to that because I don't think I can juggle both. We'll see. I might attempt it. Weather report. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. That's wonderful. Fortune teller. Spirit hate me. All right. Seems like they always hate me anymore. <laughs> Greetings, it is I, the queen, the queen of sauce. Here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, coleslaw. Envisioning bland mounds of lump cabbage. <laughs> You're not alone, but a great coleslaw can be a, so much more. Make sure you have juicy fresh cabbage for this one. Toss with a little vinegar and mayonnaise and you're all set. Ah, that's crisp. Learn how to cook coleslaw. Excellent. Is that really how coleslaw is made? I don't know. Cabbage, mayonnaise, vinegar. Seems like it'd be a little bit more complicated than that. Ah, we've got our well. Lord only knows how because Robin wasn't there last night. I guess it just built the rest of itself. That's awful nice of it. Eggs. Don't mind me, chickens. I'm just robbing you. You've got some new ideas to sleep on. Okay. Farming, I guess. Oh, they finally have a heart. A whole heart. That only took a little bit of forever. So, wait a minute. Can I, like... I can. So, like, every little... Oh, boy. Every little patch of dirt I, I could plant something in. How much dirt do I have? I've never really assessed the farming potential of this land. <laughs> okay, this looks like mostly dirt. It's just covered with grass right now. Okay. It's just got really weird patterns of, like, what would I call that? Uh, perma grass. <laughs> it's like permanent grass. That apparently I can't do anything with. Okay. Like I almost want to just clear this entire area. Just to see what the base land looks like. It's kind of hard to tell with all these trees and grass and everything else over it. You know, where is my grandfather? Have I seen his grave yet? I don't think that I have. Probably little use of uh, clearing all those. They'll just come right back, but whatever. I don't remember what I was going to do today. I need to like start leaving myself some notes or something. A lot of times I just don't remember. I also think it's pretty terrible that I can execute little trees with this.
Not that I need more trees right now. But just saying. It's kind of terrible. This might be a good day to try to get further down in the mine. And I'm already wasting a fair bit of time. But I've never really checked this landscape out, really. Like, I honestly don't know where my grandfather is. Where is he? I'm quite sure at this point that I've never seen him. But it's wasting an awful lot of time to, to, just to try to find him. My axe isn't strong enough. Oh, it's one of them freaking stumps. Yeah, I don't know. Like, we should be somewhere towards the top there. Actually, since I already kind of started this, maybe what I should do is just try to clear out some trees and work on some wood today, I guess. I don't know. I think that might have even been what I was thinking about doing. Sure cannot handle very many trees. Maybe the next thing I need to upgrade is my freaking axe. I don't know, I like to upgrade my hoe. But then again, the axe would allow me to clear some of this other stuff. And we are almost exhausted already. We need this, I guess. A smidge of energy. I got like one more tree left in me. I have no idea who I'm going to pursue in this playthrough. If anyone has an opinion on that, let me know. Someone you think would be interesting. I have in previous farms Let's see, I've tried Haley and uh, Leah, I believe. Oh, and Penny. I could eat these eggs. Oh, yeah. That reminds me, I was wanting to make a mayonnaise maker. What do I need for that again? Stone. Oh, yeah, the earth crystal. Dang. Copper bar isn't too awful. Sleep for the night? Uh, no. Can't you take naps? I could have sworn you could. Uh, 
Oh, is it just like sitting in the bed? No, I don't think so. If it's going up, it's incredibly slow. Huh. Or maybe they took that away. I don't know. I could have sworn that you could. Maybe I'll just eat these random things. And the leak gives me... Not bad, actually. Not bad. Oh yeah, the spirits hate me, so... May not be too easy to find anything. Probably not much of anyone out and about. Maybe in the saloon. Alright, let's just start over here. Maybe I should cook something new and exciting today. Something spicy. Okay. Pam seems to be out of it. Better leave her alone right now. Welcome to the Star Drop Saloon. Can I get you anything? Okay. Hi, Fear. Do you raise sheep in your in your barn? You can turn their wool into beautiful bolts of cloth. You'll need a loom, though. You can make them yourself if you know the crafting recipe. Which, of course, I don't. Good evening. It's nice to see you socializing with the townsfolk. It's good to stop by once in a while to see her and see what the latest news is. Okay. I need a little warm me up to be ready for another cold night on the ocean. Hi, Fear. Or read anything interesting in the library lately? <laughs> well, uh, I'll see you around then. <laughs> I'm busy, can't you tell? Oh, yes. Uh, as busy as Alex was that one day, tossing his ball up and down. Very busy. Oh. Feeling pretty good about the egg hunt, huh? <laughs> well, next year you won't be so lucky. Okay. We'll see. Hey, your name is Fear, right? Okay. Should I do a Prairie King run? I don't know. Does anybody want to see me fail? <laughs> oh boy. I guess. I'm not quite sure what else to do right now, so I did get a little bit of energy back. I could clear a few more things out for the night. Doesn't feel like I did a whole lot today. <laughs> but little by little, I guess it comes, comes to you. Eventually. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> that was not the right direction, I guess. <laughs> that was not where I needed to go. Hmm. Oh yeah, you would. You think that was a coincidence that they sent out a massive mob over there? Probably up here, coincidence, I'm sure. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. I think I got faster or something. Seems like I moved a little bit faster than I wanted to. Yeah, I probably picked up coffee like that and I didn't even really notice it. Well, not doing too great this time around. Oh boy. need the coffee. Well. Might as well, because I probably won't get a chance to use it later. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Got myself corners. Oh, I thought that was it. Bluey. Um, well, I can't afford anything, so. <laughs> See you later, I guess. <laughs> well, unless I get an extra life here real soon, this is probably over really quick. And I, <laughs> I just ran right into. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, Today would be a good day to explore the mines. Who knows what, who knows, you might find some rare ores. Yeah, you know, I was thinking I probably should have. Oh, well. Maybe I'll remember next time. <laughs> I think one of the things I want to do and uh, really need to remember is uh, buy some trees for the next uh, season. I want to try to get like, you know, preemptively buy the next season's trees so that maybe I can already uh, get some of their fruit going. Since it takes the whole season for them to freaking grow. Maybe remove all these little things because there was a lot of them. Little by little, we'll clear this out. Getting more endurance as we go along. I think. I think that's how that works. Yes, we're getting exhausted. Exhaustion is good for you. Well, okay, maybe not that much exhaustion. Oh, exhaustion is bad. Oh, they lied to me. Oh, God. Oh. My boss has always said that exhaustion was good for you.
Oh, I made it. There. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. All right, level four farming. All right, I can make the iron fence now and preserve jars. We're gonna need that. And uh, some basic retaining soil. Excellent. That's something. And level two foraging, charcoal kiln. Ah. Well, I feel like that was a little bit of an accomplishment at least then. Not every day can be super productive, I suppose. Oh, well, it looks like it will be a harvest day next time. At least partially. A little bit of a harvest day. I think having a variety of crops kind of helps with that too. Is you know, like you can harvest part at a time and not have to do your entire farm all at once. That's probably not a bad idea. Alrighty, I guess that wraps things up for today. And uh, yeah, so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think, give me some ideas for the future. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss the next daily do. I will see you all in the next episode tomorrow. Good night, everybody.